Hi, just a follow-up on my dodgy smart meter where I was trying to figure out where this uh, excess uh, import energy is coming from on my smart meter because in theory, and according to the data, I've got my um, new battery installation um, should provide all of my power during the night and I've got more than excess solar during the day. So I'm not sure why I'm getting a little residual like 1.8 kilowatt hours a day on average coming sucking in uh, from the grid so yeah let's have another look at it because i've got some more data let's have a go and like into it like 30 minute data so let's have a look now there's quite a few people who said it's probably uh the uh grid trickle feed setting which is down here you can see it now when i originally installed this thing i set this to five watts because i think i read somewhere that you shouldn't set it to zero so i did uh just you know five watts because it needs some sort of uh grid supply to actually uh you know keep it running and keep it active so it doesn't think it's disconnected from the grid or whatever right so i set it to a low five watt setting so as an experiment for five days i actually set it to 50 watts to see if that would make a difference to see if uh, all those average figures jumped up 50 times 24 uh, 1200 uh, watt hours right so 1.2 kilowatt hours it should have it should have shifted from like these average values that you can see here and here's where I switched it on this day here on the 12th of September and sure enough it jumped up to 2.62 but uh, the average is only like 0.38 difference so and then i switched it back off uh yesterday so um yeah i i'm not seeing it so i'm not seeing that average sh shift so it's not that grid trickle feed thing doing it now i discovered that i can actually download uh from the uh provider the energy provider i can download the actual uh 30 minute data from my smart meter and this is great so here it is here so it gives me um I've, I've sorted this by general usage you can go right down the bottom and it gives you solar and it interlays the two rows so i've had to sort by um solar which is basically my export feeding out to the grid my feeding and uh, as it's called um and then i've got up the top i've got general usage which is what i'm pulling from the grid and it gives me the readings presumably in a kilowatt hours here for each 30 minute time interval great so i get 24 readings per day this is awesome so what i've done is i've actually plotted some data and you can see that look it does actually go to zero right it does go to zero quite a few times it goes to zero so that completely rules out the theory of the grid trickle feed thing it ain't that Otherwise, you would not be getting a figure that goes to zero, especially during the days down in, Well, I'll show you. <laughs> Even when I set it to 50 watts grid trickle feed, okay, so this is the 4th of September here. You can see it actually goes down to zero. So, yeah, so there's all these little residuals. Now, there's a big spike here, which presumably, I don't know, we switched on something and then we, you know, its peak current might have been for 10 minutes, might have been above what my battery can provide, which is 5 kilowatts power uh, max so this is at night uh, time here so and curiously there's several spikes at, at a similar time here right so presumably yeah okay we switched an oven on and we had the dryer on at the same time or something like that right that the battery couldn't provide so fair enough but all these other little ones over here this is it's really interesting especially like at at midnight here right so at the start of the day we're talking yeah it's like 1 a.m right <laughs> should be sleeping um and yeah we're just getting these little drawers and stuff and sure enough when we wake up or whatever maybe there's some extra stuff going happening here but even during the day when we've got tons of solar anyway the point is um look even down here on the 12th like here's another here's the big spike again but then there's a big spike up here like this um and but even on the days when i had that 50 watt grid trickle feed set in look zeros zeros all the way with lbj there um and then it's just it's like kind of like all over the shop so maybe it's a combination of as a few people uh, uh suggested it could actually be within the accuracy like the actual, um, you know, a couple of least significant bits of the ADC in there. And it's just, you know, measuring like just residual stuff. The resolution seems to be 0.1 kilowatt 
hours. Yeah, odd, odd and even. So 0.1 kilowatt hours there. But anyway, yeah, some sort of residual error thing because apparently uh, the standard is 1% or whatever for the uh, meters. So um, yeah, is it within? Uh, somebody's done some calcs. I'm not going to do the calculations now. But yeah, you can see it's kind of like all over the shop, isn't it? Like little small amounts here or there. I can't imagine we're turning on that many appliances that draw a total of five kilowatts for like brief periods here and here and here and here. I'd expect to see like a flat kind of thing if we like turned on something, turned on the other oven for two hours and we had the aircon on and then we were drawing, you know, a constant thing. We haven't had the aircon on recently, by the way, um, at all. So yeah, I'm just not seeing it. It's more like it's down in the random noise or something. Although I admit these peaks are way too coincidental. Something's going on there. Like, yeah, we are drawing more than the battery. And okay, fair enough, you know, but yeah, like sometimes we're getting zero, <laughs> zero, <laughs> zero. What's that one? That's kind of like an oddball one, isn't it? It's not as random as the other ones. And it's just, yeah, it's kind of all over the shop. It's really weird, huh? So there you go. So this is the energy that I'm pulling in from the grid at night time. I mean, I haven't got time down here, but imagine that's midnight there and that's midnight the next uh, day divided into 48 um, samples there. And yeah, so this is midday here. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm just not seeing, I'm not seeing a reason why apart from, yeah, I admit maybe an appliance can come on there that's drawing more. But apart from that, I don't know. Well, once again, leave it in the comments down below. Catch you next time.